good YouTube never to you you're back again once again and today people today we are here for episode number 12 of our Pokemon Blaze Black 2 Redux Cracked Egglock in the last episode of our Pokemon Blaze Black 2 Redux Cracked Egglock um we did all things Drift Veil we actually no we did all things Nimbasa we snagged a new badge we had encounters we made our way to Drift Veil it was uh, we did so much and in today's episode we are going to be Drift Veil detectives always looking for that alliteration damn it and wait we have so many eggs to hatch too we have eggs from the last episode we haven't gotten we have eggs in this episode we can get and there's still <sighs> there's so much to do in drift fail so if you guys are hyped for some more pokemon blaze black 2 redux cracked egg lock and of course we can show you support as a proud member of the Navy nation make sure to like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated now Let's get a super quick team recap. Ladies and gentlemen, up first we have Damage, our level 38 Rampardos, Adam and Nature holding a Quick Claw with Mold Breaker, Rock and Rock Slides, and Headbutt, Brick Break, and Dragon Dance. Up next we have our Adam and Nature level 38 Malice, the Guard Chomp, holding the Muscle Band with Pure Power, Rock and Dragon Claw, Rock Slide, Earthquake, and Dragon Dance. Up next we have Flex, our Poly Wrath, a level 40 Adam and Nature with the Expert Belt with Swift Swim, excuse me, Rock and Waterfall, Ice Punch, Strain Punch, and Bulk Up. Up next, we have HBIC, ah, the key to my heart, our Modest Nature Pidgeot, level 40 with the Expert Belt, Rock and Drizzle with Hyper Voice, Scald, Hurricane, and Thunder. Up next, we have Ophelia, our Meloetta. I was thinking Roserade, I, I don't know why, like my mouth just said Meloetta, which is correct, but I was thinking Roserade the whole time. Anyways, Ophelia, our level 40 Meloetta, uh, Timid Nature holding the Scope Lens with Simple Rock and Side Strike, Dragon Pulse, Tri Attack, and Quiver Dance. And last but certainly not least, we have Shadow Bomb, our level 40 Brave Natured Quick Claw holding Umbreon uh, with Huge Power, Rock and Night Slash, Double Kick Judgment, and Play Prof. So that's what our squad's looking, right, right, looking like right now. I'm not 100% sure if we're actually ready to take on Clay. Um, when I sat down to record just now, I was sitting there thinking like, ooh, a badge a day keeps the doctor away. I was ready to get this next fucking badge, especially after last night's uh, Late Night Crystal. We got two badges in last night's Late Night Crystal, and I was like, hell yeah, we got a badge last episode, we're gonna get one here today. But, I just remembered all of the extra stuff they added here, and I don't, I don't know if that's gonna happen or not, because... We have so many eggs to hatch. I think that's I think that's gonna be priority numero uno in today's episode. I think we're gonna go and get whatever other encounters we can get right now. And then we are going to prioritize hatching the rest of these eggs. So this Stantler is from the Hidden Grotto in the last episode that Bianca showed us. And then this Audino is from Route 5? Route 7? Route 5? Route 5. Um, and then <clears throat> our bridge encounter, I fucked up. But we're not fucking up any more encounters. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. They tried to make me fuck up rehab, and I said, no, 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 no. So, in that vein, first things first, we need to snag one of these wish cash. Couldn't you in... Link cable. Couldn't you in black and white? Couldn't you, like, fish right here? Couldn't you get an encounter right here or something like that? The Pokemon swimming in the water called wish cash. Isn't it beautiful to look at? I've never been, I've been told that in faraway lands, this kind of thing is, come on. Maybe if Team Plasma freed all Pokemon, we'd see more Pokemon roam freely here in Unifor 2. Oh, I get it. The Wish Cash are roaming freely. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, 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 I know. Pokemon World Tournament. Um, I, You like how we just switched? That's just how my brain works. You like how we just switched gears completely we went from oh we gotta get this encounter to now the fuck we're up here and you know in all of the times that i have played fifth gen i'm pretty sure that this place has nothing in it it's such a dope little house or hotel or condominiums or whatever but i don't think they're you don't, they don't actually get anything from in here oh do you as a veteran wait if if my pokemon were with me i would challenge you to a battle instead please accept this I don't think you get anything. Okay, yeah, like I said, we don't get anything. <laughs> we don't get anything. You fling though. Is does people? Is that actually a thing? Like, do people actually like? I get that it's like you can use it, but like, what would? What is the, the? What like? What is the intention behind the move fling? Like, is that like? Is that like rest and snore, or hypnosis and dream eater? Or something like that. Um, 
Wait, hold on. Too much is happening. Red shards? I don't want any of this shit. What I'm sitting there... What I'm sitting here trying to explain is like... So with fling, would you also have to have... Um, is it snatch? That's where the two move part came into mind. And then he said two with two red shards and... We crossed the streams there in my brain for a moment. <laughs> um, but like that idea would be that you would keep taking an item and throwing it. Now, I'm not implying that when you throw the item, the other Pokemon catches it and takes damage. I don't think that's the case at all. I think they just take damage. But, or could you use, what is it, switcheroo? Could you use switcheroo instead? Instead of snatch or whatever. Anyways, the point I'm making is it is it like one of those two move move sets where you need two boot two two balloons. Oh my god, I'm just done making points at this point. You know, <laughs> didn't even make my initial point of catching more Pokemon. I can't even make the point I'm trying to think about with this goddamn fling move. Um, but yeah, you get you get what I'm trying to say. Like, is that the only viable way to use it? Is this my boy? Is this my boy right here? I'm a heartbreaker. My name, Charles. I wanted to get the attention of a girl I like, so I learned a new style of Pokemon battling. It's named Triple Battle. Wanna learn about it? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We already battled once, and that was spooky enough. But you know, I think this is gonna be a Rampage episode. Because we need to get our squad up to level 40, and Malice is still chilling here. Wow, I like how we have... Oh... Uh, Ophelia, I guess, is gender neutral, but still, I did not do that on purpose. <laughs> I really didn't. What the fuck? Um, but yeah, we need to get them up to level 40, so tonight's gonna, or tonight, today is gonna be a damage Rampardos episode. I almost said Ramage. Whoa, this guy sells stones? This team plasma member? Oh, he's a good plasma member. Well, it's good to know. I need to come back here. Whoa, give me a dozen. 12 bottles of Moo Moo Milks? Well, hold up. Give me another dozen. Please and thank you. And let me check out them trash cans. What y'all got back there? What y'all got back here in these trash cans? Girl, let me look. Let me check. I was going to say, couldn't, can't you come back here? Oh, fuck. I can't get the trash cans, though. Brutal swing. I came... Wait a minute. Brutal swing. I came back here looking for trash... And that's what we get, Brutal Swing. Oh, that sounds like a move that's not from this game! Um, Malice can learn it? No, 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 no. But that's not good to, uh, that's good to, to have though, still. But you know what, uh, Shadow Bomb can learn it? Sapa! Sapa! But I mean, you have Night Slash, so we're not stressing. Are we stressing? We're not. Whenever we come to the market, vegetables of all seasons are available. Isn't that a marvel? Oh my god, we're gonna be started on marvel. I've been watching so many marvel top tens and this and that. Ooh, ooh, ah, ooh. That'll cross the streams worse than. Should we have Pokemon level 40 or more? Oh, strong. Bro, both my level 40 or. <laughs> Most of my level 40s are rocking expert belts. What do you mean? But. Marvel Top 10s, that'll get me in my, my, my streams crossed worse than uh, Fling and Switcheroo. So, I'm surmising that my original statement of, I remember going into these buildings, and I thought that it was one building that was like this. 350 or more, yeah right bro, I'm doing a Nuzlocke, you know? We don't, we don't get that many encounters. Um, But I thought it was all one building. Oh, hold up. He's you gonna give me something? Oh la la, you, you are a loyal trainer. We, oui, I am most certain, come and give you a special. Oh, I forgot about this motherfucker. Okay, ah, yes. Okay, so check it, check it out, check it out. Guess what? Guess what? This was all an elaborate ruse to get our Pokemon from Drifail City here. Remember how I said we swapped, we swapped streams? No, 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 we didn't. No, we didn't. I'm just uh, knocking out two birds with one stone <laughs> um, but okay so wait what floor is this 19 and number two I don't believe these buildings are that big <laughs> no what's the other floor this is 19 what was the other one 16 or something like that oh look at this little green axe you got 
Ooh. You know, I saw a little Scraggy in the other house, and I did not go and speak to him. And I thought, you know what? I should go and speak to him. And I just spoke to... It's 414, by the way. I just spoke to that Axio on accident. And he gave me something. <laughs> okay, so it's in this very first house right here. So we have cleared out what I like to call Driftville Square. Uh, that is a term that I came up with. It's not an official Pokemon term. So <laughs> do with that what you will. But I like to call that Driftville Square right there. I may or may not have just came up with it. But either way, we're going to go get this Piplup and add it to our collection of Mons that we need to hatch. Uh, what was it? Level 16? Level 19? Hell no, it's level 14. Level 16? Level 19? Hell no, it's level 14. You know we gotta pick little DeAndre. You know we gotta pick little DeAndre. No, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Miss DeAndre. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Alright, so that makes, what, three official encounters for us? So, initial question. <laughs> From way, way back before the fling conversation, what I was gonna say is uh, since they got rid of that little ledge there, or was there ever a ledge there? Can we even get a Driftvale City encounter? Because technically, this Piplup is not our Driftvale City encounter. This Piplup is a static mon, it is a gift Pokemon. That's the proper term for it. It is a gift Pokemon. No, no, what the fuck kind of bullshit is this? Move the fucking Pokemon right. God damn. God damn. See, now you guys can experience all of my struggles because the bottom screen is displayed gloriously for everyone to see. <sighs> Anyways, okay. So we took care of that. I don't want to trigger anything by like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't even think about it. Big boy, clay tunnel ahead. Whoa, clay tunnel? What the fuck is clay tunnel? Uh, okay, question. So I'm pretty sure that I remember in all of the versions that I played with this, isn't this like post game or something? Like, isn't, doesn't he tell you to come back later or something like that? And we're always just in Nuzlocke mode and like, fuck that, we're never coming back. I was gonna say, can you get an encounter in here? Or is this just a little shirt factory? Is this just a little shirt factory? First to get little shirts. But homeboy in there wants red shards, not these shitty little green. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It looks like it's not just shards in here. There's items and encounters. Whoa! I've never been to fucking clay tunnel before. What? What? Clay tunnel, hold up, bro. He's gonna hit you with a bulldoze and it's not going to be very pretty. And I'm not trying to deal with that right now. Not trying to deal with that right now. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't even know that we had another option. Oh, God, we don't have anything like this guy. Bro, Mr. Sandshrew. Mr. Sandman. Hey, that critical capture. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, so, does this guy want to fight? Oh, my God. What is this? This is like Gen 9. Come early for me. I'm didn't even know this was it. I've never played this part of Pokemon before. Whoa, whoa. Uh, is he gonna have sturdy? This motherfucker has old 40s. Haha. Damage, my boy. Damage. Oh no. Oh no. Why? 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 Why, why does Sableye get Octazuka? I swear to God, this thing clicks pursuit right now. Dang, they always just have the right move, don't they? They always just have the right move. And for why? For why, bro? You were standing in here next to the entrance to this ca ca cave, cavern, clay tunnel, tunnel, it's a tunnel. <laughs> just challenging people as they come in. So this is why we put Rock Slide on Malice last episode. For moments like this. What do you do when you can't earthquake the bat? You Rock Slide it. You Rock Slide it. Okay, 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 okay. Chill, 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 chill. This whole clay. Oh, wait, no. 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 Oh, no, wait, no. Oh, no, wait, no. Uh, does Wubag get pursuit? 
I forgot that we have <laughs> a badly injured Pokemon. Well, have you no fear damage. This is why we went to the Drifvale Farmer's Market, located conveniently in the Drifvale Square. And we went ahead and snagged a couple of Mew Mew Meow with your name on it, buddy boy. Look at that. Look at that deliciousness. Soak all that up. Oh, we need strength to get through here? Okay, wait. I'm going to slow my roll just a bit. Um, whoa, 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 yeah, we're slowing the roll, 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 I'm not gonna get caught up in anything crazy down here, no, 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 not me, not I, not me, not I, there's Wild Azumarill in here? Is this game randomized? Um, number one, I know that the moment I try to click run, it'll say you can't. Why? Why would you why would you happen to click Get me out of here. Get me out of here. And you know what? I'll take the fucking red shard cuz homeboy was looking for red shards. Okay, um Mr. Chill bro. Chill chill. Chill chill bro. Chill chill. Don't worry. I'll come and smack this motherfucking monkey up in due time. Introduce you to my boy HBIC. He don't play with nobody. Um, okay, so we got the sand shrew. That one's taken care of. Um, I don't think, for now, we're not going to continue past Driftvale City. I don't know. There's just something about that to me. Like, I don't know. Like, we're let's playing a game, you know? Like, I don't want to play ahead and then come back and then this and that. I know that the gym is down here, but we're not gymming yet. Yeah, see, homeboy won't even let us gym. Because... The gym leader Clay is currently in the middle of something. Please come back later. He's currently in the middle of something. Um, I know the plasma house is up here. Are we plasma housing it? Oh! Sir, that's the person I was talking about. Over here, this way. Oh, so you're interested in Team Plasma, are you? If you hear what we have to say, you might be able to understand us. My guest. If you're going to come inside, I would like to see what kind of person you are, trainer. That's right, in Pokemon battle. Do you find this except- Why? Sure. Let us begin. Dang, Rudy rude. You know, it's rude to ask for a Pokemon battle like that. Especially in your pajamas. He leads with a fucking Bouflot? Oh, what? A level 41 Bouflot? I'm not ready for this. Um, okay, so check it. If I stay in, uh, I don't think we're... We might outspeed. I don't know. Damage surprises me. I don't think I've ever really used a Rampardos before, so I just expect him to be slow as shit. Um, Bufalon, I think, might outspeed us. Question is, are we living anything from this Bufalon? Question number two is, are we killing this Bufalon? I think that... Doesn't Bufalon get close combat? But then the bigger question is, what happens if I swap? Who do I swap to? What am I doing in this scenario? If I swap to Flex, is he taking the hit? It's level 41 fucking Bufalon. Uh, I think I'm gonna brick break him. Fuck it. Look at how speedy damage is. Level 38. Oh my goodness, the Chobbleberry. Oh, that's so unfo. Are you? Are you? Are you? Bro. <laughs> what the fuck? You know, I have to stop doing this. I keep mentioning these things and I speak them into reality. I literally said he's gonna have close combat, which is why I didn't go out to Shadow Bomb because I was thinking I should go out to Shadow Bomb. All right, rude. That was fucking rude. Thank you for taking my baby boy damage away. Mm. I know you're gonna be rocking energy ball on this thing too. Are you for real, Pasho Berry? Bro, did you take a stroll through the woods before this? This is not gonna be like Choppleberry. Chill. Chill, chill, chill. 
Flex, get rid of the Chandelure. Okay, that's number two. And he almost took two from me. I don't appreciate that very much. You gonna make me... Oh, no, I gotta swap on this one. Hold up. Oh, it'd be so lovely to have a rock type. Uh, okay. I think we're gonna go out to Shadow Bond. Shadow Bond! Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! Ow! Quick Claw, get it out of here! Where's the berry for that? What's the dark type berry? I feel like I know it. I feel like I know it, but I just don't know it. Oh, this is what. Oh, we have double kick. Fuck yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa! We just got red by Rude! Uh, Red by Rude! Whoa! I hope he doesn't send out something that resists. Oh no, that works. I'll fuck this thing up. Oh, it's got Intimidate. Fuck. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold the phone. Uh, the Stoutland kind of scares me because doesn't Stoutland get close combat too? Uh, I know he gets Crunch, which could be an issue here. Um, but... Uh, I'm pretty sure he gets close combat. I'm gonna go out to Malice. Malice, oh no, I know he gets play rough too. Don't click play rough. Don't click play rough. That's gonna hurt. Strength, I mean, that's still gonna hurt too. Actually, oh, it's life orb. Fuck off, bro. <laughs> Actually. Now that I think about it, just get the fuck out. Bro, I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm going to 100% go back out to Shadow Bomb. Because if you're going to go for a dark type move... Ah! Okay, you're going to U-turn me again, bro? Is that, is, that, is that your plan? Is that what you think you're going to do? Go ahead, U-turn out, bro. But I've lost count. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, I've lost count of how many Pokemon you have left. Oh, why did I click double kick? What the fuck? Oh, well. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter when you kicking like that. I was gonna say, I should have just clicked play rough. But okay, Mr. Rude. Have we proven ourselves worthy? I apologize for testing you. No, apologize for damage. Do that. Being former members of Team Plasma, we must deal with a lot. He got away, and that is your friend. He may join us, bro. Losing damage is so annoying. Oh my god, it's so annoying. Let me introduce myself again. My name is Rude. You guys are all Team Plasma too, right? Tell me, what makes you different from the Team Plasma back there? More accurately, we're former members of Team Plasma. Because of the incident two years ago, we started taking care of the Pokemon that were separated from their trainers as a way to atone for our misdeeds. And you are? I'm Trey, from Aspertia City. Five years ago, Team Plasma, I mean you, stole my little sister's Pokemon. I'm the pathetic trainer who wasn't able to stop you. Separated? What a joke! You were the thieves who stole them! Is that so? My sincerest apologies. I'm just itching this whole time to check out that trash can. I'm telling you. Ah! Just an apology? That's it? Where's my sister's Pokemon? Purloin! Where's Purloin? The Pokemon you speak of is not in this place. I imagine it's still being used by Team Plasma now. Just as you say, our apologizing doesn't solve anything. But you can't move forward unless you admit you are wrong and apologize. Enough already. Apologizing is going to get my sister's Pokemon back. Nappy, I'm going to the Pokemon gym. I'll get stronger and crush every single member of Team Plasma. Even the dead ones. Team Plasma made trainers like him suffer. I feel terrible about it. How foolish we were. Nappy, as you can see, I can't do anything to thank you. Actually, I have a favor to ask of you. Come and speak to me again if you're interested. Uh, hold up. The trash can is empty. Oh, wait, who the fuck is this? Who are these elven people back here? I'll talk to everybody but him. <laughs> they don't, uh, he doesn't matter. I don't care about him. Nothing, nothing from you? 
Nothing from you? Could you please look after this Pokemon Zora? Fuck! Oh, let me just toss out this dead Pokemon that you just killed, by the way. How about that? Maybe that, maybe that was his message. Maybe it was him saying, let me get rid of this Pokemon for, for you real quick so that you can uh, have this Zora. Knock, knock. This Pokemon is even attached to me. That's why I'm treating it like a friend, not a tool. <laughs> He's just looking for his next meal, bro. Don't think you're that special. Who these people are? N was an orphan. I heard that right after he was born. He upset people with behavior that it suggested he could talk to Pokemon. When he was living in the woods with Darmanitan and Zorua, Getsus took him in. We were also orphans, Getsus took in. Our task was to take care of N. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember them. Team Plasma is an organization created by the Midnight Gets to take a unit of region. I remember them. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Chill, 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 chill. Chill, 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 chill. I can only do one encounter at a time, and now we need a moment of silence. We need a moment of silence. Oh, what the fuck? No. 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 Stop. No. No. Stop. No. No stop. No. No stop. No. No stop. No. No stop. Oh my goodness. We're going to have the biggest egg hatching yet. Oh, my boy damage. Can we have a moment of silence? We went five episodes without losing a Pokemon. And now here we are with another one in the box. I don't like it. I do not like it. I don't care for it. Not one bit. Not one bit. Not one bit at all. Um, but okay. Okay, 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 okay. Now, lady, yeah. All right, little buddy. Come hop in this PC. That Zora is one of the Pokemon that my Lord N relied on as a friend during his journey. So is the original trainer N? This Pokemon is apparently friends with a certain trainer, proud of its power. Hmm. You know, a couple years ago, I don't know when it was. I want to say probably like. 20, I don't know, long time ago. I actually took my Pokemon Black 2 cartridge and just was sitting here one night playing and I played like all the way to Skyla. And I was just like using random Pokemon that popped up, you know? It was nice. <laughs> you know, like to just use Pokemon that were meant to be used when the game came out. Because, you know, I feel like you really only ever get that impression on like your first playthrough of a game because I feel like especially as a content creator from there on out you always have to have some twist to it where you're not necessarily using the Pokemon that were intended but I know that's in stark contrast to what I was saying about Legends of Arceus where everyone has the same team to start out with but still I don't know I just thought about it because I did it on this game once before. I just sat here and played it. I didn't record it for YouTube or anything. I was just chilling one night playing Pokemon. Playing Pokemon. I forgot all about cold storage too. We need to fucking go through cold fucking storage. Oh shit, I told her no. <laughs> I would like to see a Pokemon that knows frustration. Well, I have not encountered any Team Go Rocket dirigibles lately. So I cannot necessarily assist you in that manner getting to know someone creates both joy and sorrow puns that were funny when you first met get old when you hear them all the time i know right as gym leader in Nimbasa city elisa has a shockingly packed schedule <laughs> all right we are breezing <laughs> through driftvale city here god damn i don't to guess this is that makes it all the more better. These items that I'm never going to use, that makes it all the more better. Excellent, excellent, excellent. But you know, I say that, and there have been times in the past when there has been one or two times when there's just some rare Pokemon out there and it just pops up and I'm like, oh, how the fuck do I use this? Oh, I need this? Oh, okay. 
Is this the road to Pokestar Studios? Where does this take you? Why do they have this big-ass road here? I don't understand it. And I also... Is this guy want to fight? What the fuck? Why are you standing here in the middle like this? I'm very sorry. The Pokemon World Tournament will commence shortly, but we're still preparing the area. Oh, you don't have the Trifield gym, City Gym Badge yet? In that case, how about taking on the Pokemon Gym first? Oh, you, I thought you had to go get Clay from the World Tournament, and then you take him on. Oh, so that changes a lot. Oh, that changes a lot. Are there no other Pokemon that we can encounter here and now? Here and now. Because if that's the case, then all that means that we have left is to hatch these eggs. And to take on this fat monkey over here. But I'm not going to push it. I said that I wasn't going to get an encounter. Oh, you know what? I forgot about entirely. Velma gave us the armor and the skull fossil on the bridge in the last episode. I forgot to go back and get them fixed up. But you know what? That relic passage is going to take us through there. Um, so maybe we could just do that then. But anyways, 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 anyways. I really wanted to hit a full row of six for this. But we can't get any more encounters. If I would have had that encounter from the bridge, we would have had a full row of six. So fuck me, I guess. But we are going to take a couple notes here really quick like oh I didn't need a new piece of paper for that are we ready are we ready we have a level 27 we have a level 28 we have a level 5 a level 35 and a level 25 all right, so let us snag this Stantler first and see what we can snag. Uh, I'm going to every box. Has that someone pulled from it? Yeah, we have two in that one. Let's do this one. Box number eight. Survey says stop. So level 27, we have... No, we gotta go back. We gotta go back. The Justice. Question mark, question mark, question mark. I think I'm just gonna call him The Justice without the question mark. But he's holding a King's Rock. So level 27, The Justice. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Are you ready? Holding a King's Rock. I'm going to guess this is a Toga Kiss. That's my guess. But I'm not 100% sure. Ah, <laughs> okay. You know, there's so many Pokemon that come to mind when uh, you think of King's Rock, and obviously I thought Air Slash King's Rock, but I guess I just wasn't thinking big enough. I am the one not thinking big enough this time. But we have The Justice, our new Sky Shaman. We did say uh, that it could be any Pokemon in any form. Wait, is this gonna fit? Okay, 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 okay. If you sent in the justice, please don't be upsetty spaghetti with me. But I'm just gonna cut off the. And we're gonna call Homeboy Justice. Which, honestly, is kind of a badass name. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of a badass name. But let's check out Justice real quick before we get them all leveled up. Level 1. <laughs> in a luxury ball holding the King's Rock. From Anvil Town, Timid Nature often droz dozes off. He's got Serene Grace with Air Slash, Fiery Dance, Seed Flare, and Ice Burn. Wow. <laughs> so Serene Grace will, and King's Rock will boost the chance to flinch. Fiery Dance, it may also raise the user's special attack stat. Okay, isn't that Volcarona's move? Cloaked in flames. Seed Flare, it may harshly lower the target's special defense. And Ice Burn, isn't that a uh, Kyrum or White Kyrum's 
signature move on the second turn and ultra cold one word ultra cold freezing wind surrounds the target this target this may leave the target with a burn wow okay what a powerhouse of a pokemon holy fuck <laughs> yo do not piss that little hedgehog off because it is coming for you god damn okay well whoever sent in justice shout the fuck out to you thank you thank you thank you we're gonna get justice leveled up here appropriately sorry no leech seed on this platform no leech seed on this nozlock no 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 quick attack this time around either oh my god we have four more eggs to hatch no we, we just lost somebody who had a uh, Zen headbutt, who could miss Zen headbutt, who I think did miss Zen headbutt once, but can only say once because we never got the chance to use him. Suck, 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 suck. Um, you know, I'm not going to be that guy, but just looking at the team the way it is, Justice would fit. I mean, no, 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 no. I was only thinking grass typing, the flying typing, we didn't know, we already have a flying type Pokemon, and on top of that, that would just give us an even bigger weakness to ice, which I mean, I know we have a Polyrath, but still. No, did he really change his form when I put him in the box? I mean, now that I see it happen, yes, I remember that happening, but... Bro, whoever sent in justice, you should have given him the Cressetia flower so I could change it. Uh, I mean, as much as it sucks, I mean, Air Slash is not Stab. Um, but I mean, oh, he has Natural Cure now. Uh, well, it's not a flying type. We can add him to the team. <laughs> I mean, we still have Ice Weakness, but what the fuck? God damn. I mean, there's nothing I can do about that. What am I supposed to do? do? Can I put him in the... What's the what's the other box? Or could I have put him in the... Whatever the other box was? I don't know. Battle box? But fuck it. Well, whoever sent in Justice, I know you meant for it to be a Sky Shaman, but... Um, that was a big mulligan. I didn't mean to swap it back like that. But you should have sent in the Grissetia too. Or fingers crossed someone else does. Or we find it soon or something like that. Because it sucks that it's just regular Shaman now. I mean, I like regular Shaman too, but... Okay, we need to find a box that only has one Pokemon in it and add this one to it. Um, oh, that was the last box that we did. Um, I think we're going to stop here. And we have level 28... This is our oh no it's not our highest one. Survey say stop. Bada bang bada boom. Odd no in the room. Level twenty eight egg is comment holding a king's rock. Another king's rock. We are going to just have a satchel of rocks. A satchel of King's Rocks. Alright, Kami, I don't know who this could be with a King's Rock. Uh, Togekiss. Shaman Sky. Um. So I'm gonna guess that this was supposed to have an X on the end? Since we normally name all of our Squirtles and Blastoises Comics, but the egg was Kame, right? Do I name it Comics? Do I make the assumption and name it Comics? Or do I just stick with Kame? I'm gonna stick with Kame. Although I feel like it was meant to be Comics. But let's see what our little King's Rock holding here to no surf. He's modest nature from deep in the abyssal ruins. Uh, he often dozes off. With thunder, flamethrower, hydro cannon, and surf with drizzle, of course. I love it! 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 Hydro cannon in the rain. Don't mind me. But the drizzle flamethrower. Uh, that's a little. That's a. That's a little. Uh, a little interesting. A little interesting right there. A little just. Just teen time tab. A little interesting right there. 
Uh, I mean, if you were thinking about grass types, you could have given him signal beam or bug buzz. Can you imagine a bug buzz blastoise? His cannons just sh firing like nothing but bees at you. But whoever sent in comment, thank you so much. I appreciate it, Joe. Appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. But we gotta get Kame to level 28, which means Kame will be a war turtle. I think this is our first evolution. Uh, is he gonna keep Drizzle? I wonder. Because, um. Didn't Comex and Renegade Platinum have Drizzle? I think he did. Didn't he? Didn't he have Drizzle? So is that a uh, Drayano thing? Can we rely on that from here on out? Are you gonna keep Drizzle, my boy? I'm not even gonna check yet. I want the suspense to build. And don't you dare check out the documentation. Doesn't it look like he has a little bandana on? He's a little badass. He's a little badass. I know he will be just as strong as the many comics that have come before him. This is like the uh, abbreviated spinoff. Oh, I should've told him Bubble Beam. That's essential. That's essential. Okay, 28, 28, 28. Aqua Ring, no. You learned so many goddamn moves. Holy fuck. Aval bro, no. You ain't learned no goddamn avalanche. Chill, bro. Um. Also, by the way, heal my Pokemon. <laughs> Whole team is at half HP. Okay, so we got Kame, our War Turtle next. Who is coming out of this PC next? Who's coming out of this PC next? We got Kame, our Flamethrowering. Flamethrowering. Oh, he has Shell Armor now. He did not keep Drizzle. Oh, my buddy. But okay, we have a level five Piplup next. Um, I'm going to, I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter if I put it in my party or if I do it like that. I still have to come back to the box anyways. But we have a level five Piplup. We're gonna head back this way and stop right here in box 19. Survey says, big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy, stop. Piplup at level five. You thought. We have you thought holding a rocky helmet. Now, I know a lot of you kids that watch the MTV today know that thought has multiple different meanings, but the way that this is spelled includes none of them. <laughs> so, let's see here. Oh, wow. I really did thought. <laughs> we have a level 5 Reggie Gigas. <laughs> oh my god. What a... What a hatch. Hey, you know what? He would fit pretty well on the team too. I just gotta say. I just gotta throw that idea out there for you guys. I want to. I'm letting you know right now. I want you to warm up to the idea of a Reggie Gigas on the team because if he has anything that is not slow start, <laughs> if he has anything that is not slow start, I swear on everything. If they gave him speed boost, I'm gonna lose my mind. I didn't even see the hold item. Is it a King's Rock? <laughs> so I'm gonna pause right now. I want you to leave a comment what you think this Reggie Gigas' ability is going to be. Leave a comment and then go back and edit your comment if you are right or not. Don't edit your comment into the right thing. Come on now. But I want everyone to uh, take a guess. You thought the Reggie Gigas, he's on the Rocky helmet. Adamant nature. He is from the dream yard. He has good endurance. He is rocking Imposter. It transforms itself into the Pokemon it is facing. No fucking way. <laughs> Drain Punch, Belly Drum, Giga Impact, and Earthquake. But I will never get to use those moves because I will always become whatever Pokemon I'm facing. What 
a mindfuck of a Pokemon. What a mindfuck of a Pokemon. Holy shit. Uh, I kind of want to use it. I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to use it and see how it goes. Will that work for us? Can we, like, uh, bust out this Reggie Gigas and, bitch, you thought we done changed? Isn't that, like, a good strategy, though? To take out, like, Dragon-type users? Swap into what they are and then kill them with their own moves because it's super effective and Ghost-types, too? Yo, I gotta say, that is probably top five hatches so far in my opinion <laughs> uh hbic being another one somewhere in there the rest i'm gonna i'm gonna leave very ambiguous for now um but you know what i just saw a new pokemon that we could slash should add to our team but i want to wait i want to wait until we finish hatching these last two pokemon so let me see here we have a level 27 Sans true. Almost said sand slash. Uh, let's find a box that doesn't have two Pokemon in it. Oh, I like that one. And at level 35, this is our highest leveled egg swap for today. So let us see here. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. Stop. Level 35. I know we didn't put this one on our party either. All right, we have Magneto holding an electric gym. I like the sound of that. Now, I'm gonna say initially, Magneto to me sounds like it's going to be a Magnezone. Uh, but I don't know. You thought didn't come out being what I thought it was gonna be, so who knows? It's a Magnezone! Fuck yeah! That is not a bad Pokemon to hatch. Not at all. I think that could fit on our team as well. But actually, no, 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 no. We have um, a little bit of a weakness to fighting types stacked up at the moment. As was demonstrated by that close combating Bouffalant five minutes into today's episode. Anyways, on a more happy note, Magneto is here. He's Quiet Nature from Chargestone Cave. He's got his Electric Gym. He's got Levitate, which gives full immunity to all ground-type moves. Hot damn. Rocking Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, Flash Cannon, Earth Power. This is actually kind of dope. It's like a, a really good Pokemon, but it's not cracked. You know what I mean? Like, it's not a cracked egg it's like it's a cracked egg but just a little bit of crack you know just a little bit of juice running out the side you know? mm, yum i really like this uh magnezone that's dope what a dope move set holy shit you got the earth power for other steel types you got ice beam for i guess ground types i mean you have levitate so but i mean i guess still to attack them yeah <laughs> in general to attack them you gotta be able to hit them back but anyways that's super fucking dope uh we have a normal type we have two normal types and a dark type right now so i don't know if i necessarily want to add magneto to the squad at the moment but he's definitely a big one up there on the list but you know what's crazy uh, it's fighting type weakness that sucks because there was uh, another steel type in the pc that i was thinking about adding to the squad um but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mention, I'm not gonna mention who just yet. I'm not gonna mention who just yet. We still have another egg to hatch. And I don't want to spoil anything. Definitely don't want to spoil anything. So, <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> I feel like if you've been paying attention, you, you should be able to pick it out. But now that the more I think about it, the more steel types are popping up in the PC. No, bro, we're not learning lock on. Absolutely not. Give up on that. Just give up on that. We're taking the 35. And for now, we have nice, wonderful, beautiful five-star amenities arrangements available for you here in this PC. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at all these cracked eggs. Whoo! I'm getting full. I'm almost full. I can, I can fit one more. Can you fit one more? 
Oh, I'm bursting with cracked eggs. It's my, 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 my mouth is, I can't even fit anymore. And it's just scrambled eggs coming out. <sighs> Anyways. That's one of those moments where somebody's gonna come to me. You know what? I'm gonna do this box. Because this egg stares at me every single fucking time I pass it. That'll be one of those moments like years from now. People will be like, yo, I loved it when you said you had scrambled eggs coming out of your mouth. I laughed so fucking hard because I was eating scrambled eggs. And then I ended up spitting them out of my mouth. And that stuck with me forever. And I'm like, I don't remember that. <laughs> I don't remember that. I'm sorry. I'm glad you enjoyed that part. But I'm sorry. I don't remember that. Are you sure that was me? <laughs> And then I go back and watch the episode, and I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> Why did I say that? Anyways, we here in the box. Uh, level 25, Zora. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. Stop. Oh, we didn't get the egg. Uh, so, level 25, Howard. Howard holding an Eviolite. Level 25, Howard holding an EVLA. Hey, at least that was quick enough to get back over here. So let us see what Howard, the Eviolite holder, has in store for us. Howard sounds like a duck. Is it a Porygon 2? Ah! <laughs> I wasn't thinking of a spicy enough duck. Oh boy. Howard, I'm not mad at it. That's, not, that's a good Magmar nickname. I could see him being a Howard. I'm partial to, to Jeffrey, partial to Blaine, but Howard, I can see as well. So I'm very titillated, you could say, at what Howard might have. He is adamant nature. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. He's only Eviolite. With contrary, make stat changes have opposite effect. He's rocking B create. <laughs> the user hurls itself at its target. It lowers the user's defense, special defense, and speed stats. So now with contrary, my defense, special defense, and speed will all go up. Meanwhile, <laughs> dealing stab 180 damage. Okay. Okay. Superpower also lowers the user's attack and defense. <laughs> So we will be raising our attack and defense. Drain punch. Do, do I give my opponent HP with this punch? <laughs> Drain punch and then spore. Okay, we put him to sleep. Uh, hey, I'm not mad at Howard, our contrary Magmar. I'm not mad at it at all. I gotta say, <laughs> that's another really, really good one. That's a, a really nice cracked egg. And you know what? Hold on. <laughs> is it just me or does Howard literally quite literally fit our team perfectly <laughs> doesn't he quite we don't have a fire type I mean what does that do it gives us a ground weakness uh nobody else is weak to ground that gives us a rock weakness we have one other Pokemon weak to rock uh a water weakness we have flex we have shadow bomb so it's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, am I missing anything else? I think, you know what? Never mind. I think we just decided who our new sixth team member is going to be. I think it's going to be our contrary, V-Create, Sporing, Howard, the motherfucking Magmar. <laughs> what a great addition to the squad. Holy fuck. But you know what? Oh, well, you know, he'll be level 25. So it'll only be 15 levels behind so I think we might still just I don't know I think I need to do a little bit of grinding now that I think about it I think I might need to do a little bit of grinding because if everybody in that cave is level 40 and we just got to level 40 I know that what's his name with the monkey up there is gonna be an issue um, and I know that clay is gonna be even harder so I think we'll probably go through clay tunnel and do a little bit of grinding there and then whatever we need to finish We will go back and fight some autonos on route 5 to get leveled up But in all honesty, I'm sitting here looking at our box. Um, spoiler alert. I was gonna add Jehuti um, But I don't know. I think Howard just fills the slot so much better 
Like, we have so much power in the PC. But you know what I really want to do? I don't want to use this fucking Reggie Gigas. I want to use this fucking Reggie Gigas. I want to see Imposter Reggie Gigas in action. <laughs> Anyways, I think for now, we're going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode here. Yes, we are going to add the Magmar to the squad. zippity doo da zippity day My oh my, what a wonderful day. I think we are going to go ahead and add the Magmar to the squad. It is official. Um, and in tomorrow's episode, we're going to be taking on, I guess, two gym leaders. Hot damn. I said we wanted a double badge episode. We're getting a double badge episode, god damn it. If you guys enjoyed today's episode of our Pokemon Blaze Black 2 Redux Cracked Egg Lock, and of course, I'm going to show you support as a private of the Nappy Nation, make sure to like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. Until next time, thank you so much for your love and light, and be safe. I'm out, peace, bitch. Bye.